Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, with a very good cup of coffee and a little bit of water. So let's continue playing as the Union of Britain. And oh my gosh, look at that manpower. That is not good. And we're not even mobilizing. Mmm, baby, that's not good. Mmm. Do you can't get a focus where you get just like 0.5% more population that you could use. I think that'd be very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, anyways, uh, I have already told some of my soldiers to go ahead and move in. Like, we are, obviously, I've literally just started the game back up, and which we can still fight Ching China. How about no? no not today, guys. Not today. Ugh. So, uh, one guy, he left three comments yesterday. I really appreciate your comments. Keep them up. Um, so I, I said something about destroyers. We're trying to get faster destroyers. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I said, but yeah, you can use show outdated equipment, so you can see what you have. Hermes class, converted cruiser hull, stuff like this. Very cool. Um, I think I was talking about the Vanguard cruiser, or Vanguard class of ships, and one of the focuses, or foci, that I wanted to get, but, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You can't, I can't do this focus until 1944. Uh, Vanguard, down here. Until January 1st of 1944, and had the technology of 1944 heavy ship hull, so... A variant of Vanguard. Oh, so that must be... That's not a destroyer, huh? Hmm. Actually, let's go over here. Ships. Heavy ship 1944, and it was a very good engine. Um... I don't know. Ah, isn't that a proud heavy battleship? Very cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we're running out of manpower. That's not good. But we are expanding. We are still expanding. Where are my tanks going? Ah, uh, they went down here to clip off the rest of this group down here, which is good. So if it's as we said last time, I have been doing better. A little bit better. Especially near... Oh. Well, they were. But then they just got encircled down here. That's not good. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. What else? Swordfish is done. Nice and dusted with. Also... Uh, I only get 0.65 a day for political power. I need more manpower. I have to have more manpower, but... Request allied favors. They still have their United Through Democracy, which lowers communism support. So really... Really. Actually, they have 0.64, and now they get 0.61. So they are still going down, even though we are boosting party popularity. Uh, you know what? Hmm. You know, I'm going to keep the way it is right now. You know why? Because if I do the decision over here, we'll get plus 0.1 daily communism support, but it costs us 0.5 political power every day. And I need more political power to expand my military. Also, we did this last time, but I won't need as many soldiers as again. I mean, we have seven armies. Sure, they're not all filled out or fleshed out. But we have another army in Scandinavia, so let's lower this down to... Six divisions or so. Oh, shit. Why'd I do that? Oh, I said bad words. Oh, well. Uh, that reminded me to do the other guy's comment. Ooh, that is not good. We actually lost a light cruiser. Wow. That is surprising. Anyways, uh, I should avoid saying people use the S word or variations of, let's say, the S word. Um, with Hitler. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm already going to get this thing demonetized or never be able to monetize this video, which is fine with me. I really don't care. Uh, okay, Gambia is finally in the war, but, uh, yeah, just, I'll try to be a little bit more careful of what I say, like, oh, no, he had an oopsie, and you really know what I mean if this guy, if this guy disappears, yeah, you know, or, you know, he's no longer around with us, he's, um, gone to the great Valhalla pasture in the sky, something like that, you, you'll know when I mean it, probably. Uh, regardless, we are still trying to reform our line here, apparently. Tanks. Tanks. There's three out of five. Uh, go ahead and push this way, I guess. You're not exactly super organized to attack, but with attacking from multiple directions, with some air support, with the ability of the enemy not being able to pierce us. Oh, and they definitely have some pretty good AA. What's going on here? Do we... Okay, so we lost an early hull destroyer in exchange for a destroyer as well as a cruiser. All right, well... That could be a lot worse. Guys, some some of our guys are repairing, which is good. We have a lot of oil now from the Soviet Union, which is great. 
Uh, since you can auto, you can upgrade, huh? Can I actually upgrade this again? No. Oh, yes. I didn't get that last time. Awesome. Go ahead, since we have enough guys here. 11 days, that's not bad. Not bad. Go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we already are trying to repair a lot more stuff here. Convoys are, are all... Ugh. Convoys are already at the bottom, which is good. Oh, I could... I. It's 1942. We gotta research more stuff here. Nice. This is very good. Tanks, they did a great job. We could... Alright, just go ahead then. Go ahead. Tanks, go. Have a good time. Brian Horrocks. Someday, please have something for me to upgrade. Please. Thank you. Uh, a couple of ships. A couple of enemy ships. Uh, patrols. Set them in a medium. I want to see if I can hit anybody. Also, Strike Force. How are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Strike Force, you have four carriers still. You still need to upgrade two of them. We actually have a 1936 heavy ship hull in here. That's good. But only one of those. We have four old... Well, actually, no. We have three old battleships. A somewhat recent battleship from 1936. And a old battlecruiser, huh? I will probably eventually make one of these carriers actually the pride of my fleet. Just because a battlecruiser, a very old battlecruiser, by the way, really isn't probably going to be the greatest thing ever. Oh, Man, the Soviets are not doing well. They were doing... They are kind of on a roll last time. I mean, it took some time for them, but they did push into Romania, but now it looks like Romania isn't so, doing so well for them. But we're doing really well in Germany. That's all that matters. And that's how you know we have true communism on our side. Because we're actually doing well against the Germans. How are the Soviets doing against the uh, Japanese? Oh, wow. Japan is almost per, uh, vertical. Interesting. Very interesting. Shanxi is... Shanxi, what group are you part of? You're fighting the Soviets. Ah, uh, oh. Communist. Baby, tell me more. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Also, I didn't even talk about this yet, but... With the eventual defeat of the Germans and Italians and the overall Axis... Uh, I will probably give all of Ireland back to regular Ireland. You know, all of the Irish lands to Ireland. Uh, I will probably, honestly, restore another portion of the Netherlands, or what was the Netherlands, to the Netherlands. Like, I'll give them, like, Friesland or something. Oh, by the way, I didn't really notice this, but within the Dutch tree right now in our game, they will eventually, hopefully, ask for the, uh, what was it? No, it wasn't this one. Revive the Buffer State Proposal, which means that we get the event, us, the, the, the Union of Britain, says we get the event of the People's United Provinces or proposes a United Netherlands, which means we might be able to combine Belgium with the Netherlands as to the old old uh, state of the Netherlands, which before 1830s was one combined state. Which would actually be really cool. That could be a, quite a good regional power. Tanks, how are you doing? Maybe you're not doing so hot right now. Maybe I should tell you not to go too ham. But ham enough it will be. Oh, William Gott, did you have no... Okay, you're just like your field marshal. Disappointing. Yeah, it's not going super well. Go ahead and hold. Well, at least here, hold. Um, you don't need to be doing that. If you can get Leon, that would be great. Oh, you did. Very great. Yeah, we're just pushing in so nicely. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sterling. That looks like a very cool Sterling. Sterling. 1942. This would be great. This would be great. Bren carriers would be great. All these things would be great. Oh, God. But I need 1940 ship hulls. Yeah, I'm not going to say that word. Yeah, I'm not going to say a lot of these words. Uh, I need better carriers. I could use that. But, uh, what is this? All or nothing armor scheme? I could use better armor on all my ships that I'm going to make in the future. It only takes 54 days. Let's do that. Oh, and better sterlings. Yeah, there you go. Sterling guns. So many factors. God, it's... You know, I wanted to cut these guys off, but... They cut off these German divisions down here, but... We're just pushing so well... That... It's kind of ridiculous. Socialist Nigerian Federation. Cool. And the tanks kind of had a hubbub here that didn't really work out so well for them. Um... You know, we're still expanding down here. Uh... I'm gonna let them keep expanding just for a little bit, and then we'll... Wow, that's not good. 
Um, that's a lot of casualties, but not as much as the Germans. Really, after this war, I'm going to rely very, very much more heavily on our allies, soldiers. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Allied soldiers. Wow, we are dropping population like crazy now. Now just go ahead and stop. Yep, and we're almost out of manpower. Holy crap, that's not good. Up, oh, and we're out of manpower. God dang it. I'm not even, I can't even get more manpower just yet. Um, I'm going to need... Uh, I don't do that. I want... No, god dang it. This one. I don't mind if they become a little bit less communist right now. As long as I can get more political power. Oh, occupations is what this does. Okay. German Reich, let's do that. I'll get less factories, but I really don't care. 403. Does it really hurt us that badly? Wow. Um, dockyard's not looking so good. Really not looking so good. Oh, but we're okay. We're really okay. Because we still have enough here. Convoys, make sure I put you at the bottom. And finally, Mexican oil has been nationalized. Uh, which actually is really weird. When we played the United States, this happened in 1937 instead of earlier. Uh, Hernan Laborde has been stirring up populist nonsense aimed at our economic interests in Mexico. And now the Partido Comunista Mexicano has passed legislation to nationalize the assets of Royal Dutch, Shell, Standard Oil of California, and many other international oil firms. Mmm. Coffee. This coffee is really strong, like I said earlier. Ooh. Although their constitution allows this action, international justice demands compensation for the losses suffered by the firms. The oil barons are demanding we act. Well, we definitely need oil. Even though we do have a surplus, but that's only because... Um... Because of what we've been importing from the USSR. We do need more rubber, though. It's fair complete. nothing we can do. We will embargo the trade with Mexico until they come with our senses. Now, I don't want to isolate the Mexicans here. Because they already are communists, and I don't want them to become... Uh, too... Close with Stalin. Yeah, I don't want him to do that. If we can ally with them, I can overlook this minor inconvenience and su give support our oil companies that were nationalized. They are an atheist state, alright? Our options are limited and a force of arms must be considered. No. Embargo trade with Mexico until they come to their senses. Mm, I don't want them to dislike me. Because if I if I do this, if we embargo trade, they will join the Comintern when we go to war with the Comintern. Probably. There's nothing we can do. God dang it, Mexico. I'm trying to save my political power up. So, really, I'm not going to... Well, I can't advance until I get more manpower, really. Uh, one thing we can do, though... This really won't affect very much. Let's go ahead and lower this. we got 12,000 12, more men. It's not really that much. Uh, I don't mind advancing, though, as long as... There's no divisions that are going to try to kill us. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay with me. Just defend for now. we got to hold the... Divisions, Germany, Germany. That Hitler guy must be screaming right now, like, "My God, where are my divisions?" I don't know. Holy crap, though. That's insane. Where are the divisions? Why are they constantly refumbling their line about? Seriously, man. Seriously, man. Where are you? I don't know. Different accents call for different times. I don't know. Anyways, uh. Let's move you down, just in case. Oh, they, they're attacking me, but they don't want to move up. Excellent strategy. Excellent strategy. I hate manually doing this, but I guess I have to. Oh, we are not winning here. Go ahead and send the tank down here to help out. That's a lot of Itali Italian boys. Italy, what's your manpower like? Not, not a much. Not, not a much. Not a bunch. Germany has about the same. Oh, and they're trying to mobilize more for scraping the barrel. The Soviets... Have quite a crap ton. They're on service by requirement now. Uh, come down here. Come over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come down there. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that's as far as I can go. If I could get Königsberg, I would, but... The Germans are really close to capitulating. Whoops. That's my bad. But something dastardly we could end up doing... Is, uh... Maybe let the war wage on for the foreseeable future, so that the Soviets are taken down a notch, perhaps, you know, because we have to think of the future. The future for our children, the future for everyone else that is currently present on this world, and 
if we have a weakened, commu potentially incorrect communist ally, I could see that being very beneficial to us. And the Italians don't like it that we're actually already on their border. Go figure. This is a nice... This is a nice pink, reddish... Red? No, it's pinkish, faded color. Oh, we have... Oh. No manpower, but we are getting bushwhacked a little bit. What does bushwhacked even mean? I don't know. But uh, this is not good for our man my manpower. No, 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 no. Yeah, go... Oh. Uh, but the, uh, low, low. Reinforcements up. I had to say something. We just get to Italy. And then yet, these people. These freaking people. They do this. They do this to me in a time of my need. I don't want to send this army away because they'll probably start taking out the Soviets up here. The Germans are definitely trying some new tactics. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, I need you down here immediately. You know what? If we lose Finland, that's okay. We'll find them again sometime. But I need you to hightail it. Like, like move. Because we will get attacked in the... Yep. Attacked right in the butt. Of course. Of course. Oh, and then they join the war when I'm out of manpower already. That's not good. That's really not good. But let's get some artillery anyway, since, um... Yep, they're moving in. God, freaking dang it. Oh, we got more oil. That's good. At least that's a good thing to say. Uh, support companies. Field hospitals are a must. Do I have field hospitals on these guys? I do. How have I not done logistic companies yet? That makes no sense to me. Colonial garrisons. Oh, I completely negated or forgot about you guys. Yeah, give them that. Definitely engineers. Recon company sounds pretty good. Do that. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, no manpower. God dang it. All right, so this is look like what we're going to have to do here. I'm going to have a fallback line. Or really, once these guys move up here, get closer on to my regular divisions. Yeah, this is a bunch of crap. This is going to be a little more difficult than I thought. Soviets, I, I need you to hold Leningrad as best as you can. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to draw a fallback line. I want to keep Bordeaux, though. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Everything that we've earned... We're going to do our best to keep. This is what I'm going to do. And hopefully waste away the Spanish army if they keep attacking us. Or when they will keep attacking us. That'll be good. And we probably needed to uh, redo some of our line a little bit. Go ahead and leave if you can. And I will have to redo my tanks as well. I need the tanks to mostly make sure that we don't lose too much. Go ahead and retreat, guys. Go ahead and retreat. Yeah, it's fine with me. Go ahead and retreat. We're out of manpower anyways, but just hold on to your butts. Hold on to those butts there. Oh, baby, what happened? Oh, we lost a convoy. That's not good. Not much, not much. And we sunk... Ah, a Spanish sub. Very cool. Actually, we should have a little bit more oil. I want to reduce my dependency on them just by a little bit. That'll be good. There you go. Go ahead and leave. Go ahead and leave. No shame in leaving. This is a tactical retreat. You're not retreating because you have to. You're retreating because you need to. Well, you're not being killed off by the enemy that much. Go ahead and retreat. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, and that division was wiped out or something? Or... Oh, baby, this is not good. Tanks, how are you doing? You are more than fine. I need all of you to come help fight the Spanish army. God dang it, Spain. Soviets, please. Don't lose Leningrad. You've lost a lot of... You've lost all your territory in Romania already. God dang it. God, I need manpower. Good lord, I need manpower. Oh, expand the repair yards. That's good. Two more dockyards and we get a little national focus. Awesome. Um, Vanguard, obviously we can't do that yet. Anti-Sept technology, amphibious warfare for marines... Bomber commands. Hmm. Well, let's do naval bombers plus air support. I've not done very much with planes lately at all. Let's do that. Coastal command. Oh boy. Two subs lost. Another three subs lost. Thank you, Spain. Very cool. And they have come all the way up here. All right, casualties lost. We're getting close to eight hundred thousand. Germans have lost quite a few, as well as. The Italians have lost less than 400,000. Interesting. 
Germany proper is pretty much out of the possible out of the realm of uh, them trying to really do any do very much. Oh, some guys actually showed up down here. Uh, I don't want you to do too much. But try to go ahead if you can. Okay, then don't go ahead. Okay. If I could just take this army and tell them to. Hmm. Go and do what? If I could use these 15 divisions as the only army facing Spain and use my tanks to help capitulate Spain faster. Oh, I hit my computer. That would be amazing. Come on, political power. Yeah, do that. That's our goal. Hmm. Because I don't want them to share the border. Break into Bilbao. Or something like that. All or nothing scheme? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Get 19 faulty sh ship hull, which will give us a better engine that we can use. Uh, infantry divisions, really? Do that. We get 140 more men. Wow. That's a lot of men, you know. Uh, for here, go ahead and just plug everything else up. Go ahead and help an attack here as well. Uh, I really need this to be divided. If we can divide this, I will put everyone back on our front line. That's the plan. 15. So go ahead, hold. Get to the areas here. Let the tanks... I need the tanks. No, I need... Um, down here. I'll probably rename this, but whatever. Come on, get down here. Just, like, move down here, if you can. I want to split this up and then put... Oh, oh, Gambia capitulated. That's not good. Ah, uh, Africa. Wow, what? Social... Nigerian Federation. Oh, they have some of the Sahara Desert. That's okay. They're holding out for now, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Better than I expected. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So, we lost three destroyers. Pretty crappy destroyers, by the way. In exchange for a destroyer and a light cruiser. All right. Uh, I'm supposing some people got hit. Some people got hurt. And Zambia has capitulated. All right, then. You guys are set on... Yep, that's good. Doing a good job so far. Patrols, convoy escort. Why do they have low convoy escort ability? Um, escort task forces. Trade convoys in this region. And five available task forces. Uh, huh. Interesting. I'm not really sure about this. Maybe they just have too many places they have to be at. Perhaps. But nevertheless, whatever. Uh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm probably going to just lower down just lower down to two. Because I need that manpower. Tanks. Cool. Yeah, break it down here. Break it down. And then I can shove the... Re oh, my goodness. They are attacking me like crazy on the front lines. Do they know I'm out of manpower? They must know. They gotta know. Uh, nice. Very cool. Come on. Nice. Awesome. Ace pilot promoted. Here we go. Alright, so you guys, you will all come down here. 15 divisions, the tanks can do a good job with the rest of that. Now, all of you guys can come over here. There you go. And go back to the tanks real quick. That's good. That's good. That's good. You're good. You're beautiful. Exactly. Thank you. Um, Another Spanish sub. Very cool. Very good. Oh, Francisco Franco. I didn't want to do this. But you're a garbage man. Huh, take that insult. Take it. Take it to the bank. Alright, so we're reshuffling the line. That's fine with me. Just really just waiting for more manpower. That's all we're doing right now. Yeah, oh, I know you're not supposed to go over there, but whatever. Uh, send you guys over here. Uh, tank. Since you're not supposed to come here either, let's go ahead and take some land so that we can make the line a little tighter. Very good, very good. Awesome. Just don't get encircled. Good. Good. Very good. Okay, so the Spanish are doing the exact same things the Germans were doing. And that is mostly not guarding their own line. Oh, wow, look at that division. That got really damaged. Holy crap. And what did we lose this time? Oh, my goodness. We actually lost three destroyers and a light cruiser. Wow. And in exchange for nine German destroyers, so that's not too bad. 
Mm. Almost spilled coffee there. Almost did. Almost overflew my mouth. That's weird to say. Sorry. Um, that's not good. But that's pretty good. Pretty good exchange rate. Mm. Oh, we're so close to getting more manpower. I'm only on extensive conscription. I thought I was on service by requirement already, but I guess not. Yeah. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Go ahead and throw them on the next line here. All right, we're back in business. Tanks, you are doing an okay job. 57. Ah, cut the student. Very good. Ah, there we go. We are finally good and ready for extensive conscription to go to service by requirement. Yes, that'll hurt our production, but it is a necessary evil. Uh, and how's this looking? Okay, so Leningrad, the Germans have definitely made a push into the Ukraine. Holy crap. And they're winning down here, and it looks like it. Most part, they're winning down in, uh, down Siberia, close to Manchuria. Wow. Chinese aren't doing so great ever since they went to war with shang -Zi. And they haven't really pushed too far. Actually, if anything, they've lost some territory coming from Vietnam. Well, maybe they're pushing into more eastern China, maybe, perhaps. Ah, oh, now we're finally getting some more manpower. This is some good effing content. Yes. Uh, go ahead and stop. You are taking quite a few casualties, which is not good. Oh! Okay, yes, we have no bananas. I was going to say that my guys are actually getting beaten up quite crazily. But while our severe rationing program does not extend to fresh fruit, the shadow of war means we are lacking most of our capacity for import. Many former commodities from the tropics are therefore now unattainable luxuries, including such things as lemons and bananas. In keeping the wartime spirit, shopkeepers have taken to hanging signs in the windows referencing the jolly old show tune. Unfortunately, there's no, there's also a short of shortage of string beans and onions, cabbages and scallions, scallions, yeah, and all kinds of fruit. But British spirit keeps up. Mm. Mm. I just wanted a banana. It's a, it's a really comical song if you actually listen to it. Uh, tanks. We have a little bit of manpower. Uh, I doubt we can do anything here. But with a little good grace of the communist revolutionary spirit, maybe we can push through. Mm. Oh, this would be good actually to do this. Just because we are finding enemy subs around here. Uh, you guys, we can't get pierced, but we are getting attacked in multiple directions. Well, maybe one guy. No, he's getting he's in multiple combat. That's okay. If we can break this down, that'd be great. Hold the line. Okay, so seriously, the AI can be so good at times, but then be so terrible at times as well. Oh my goodness. I know we don't really have that much manpower, but I think this is okay. I'll make an exception to attack this one time. Wow, some of these divisions are actually extremely battered. Hmm. Wow. Just wow. That's all I gotta say to this type of stuff. Wow. Okay. They're probably sending them to the Eastern Front, where they are trying to beat the Soviets. Even though I'd probably be more concerned about the British trying to come kill you guys. Yeah, I'm going to need more divisions down here. This is really not good. Um, They keep throwing divisions in here. You know what? We're going to assume a defensive doctrine. A Spanish defensive doctrine. I'm going to put you put it all across the line, mostly because they can move in whenever or wherever they need to. Good. Oh, they did win against them there. They are attacking us like crazy, though. That's kind of good to know. It's good, very good. Huh. Oh, they're attacking us a little crazily as well, but we do have a little bit of manpower. A tiny, never mind, smidgen of what was manpower. Uh, but we're getting close to Italy. We're getting very close. Dangerously close to the Italian nation. Come on down, come on down. They want us here. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is definitely interesting. A lot different than the way I thought it would be. Trying to take out the Axis. I mean, I figured they would probably join. Um, the Axis, the Spanish would join the Axis. I mean, it is a historical what we're playing on. Uh, if I take Königsberg, the Germans probably still won't capitulate, so that's okay. Yeah. Just keep defending against the Spanish. 
we'll, we'll tire them out. That's basically our best bet. They don't have, like, a ton of manpower. I mean, they obviously have more than us, but... We're fighting across several different fronts. The Guangxi clique has just joined... China! China! Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, now you gotta wait to turn into regular China. Oh no. Oh, what happened down here? Look at that. Communist China. Huh. But now this is a, even in a core of regular China, but I guess China's gonna get unified one way or another. Oh my goodness. My, my goodness. The talent... God, Italy, you keep attacking me so... Oh, you're out of manpower, too. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, We actually have another tank division. Awesome. Yeah, they are trying to just beat the living snuff out of my guys here. Please, don't attack. Please. Yeah, just defend if you can. You guys are definitely going to become an extremely experienced army. Uh, Our land doctrine... I mean, I am out of manpower. I should have gone with desperate defense, but whatever. We can always increase our conscription levels, which we are still mobilizing. Hmm. What do we need? What do we want? But what do we really need? Actually, we'll probably need better radar because I'm thinking we probably don't have that much radar towards Spain. And this would really help us with our research in the Mediterranean, maybe even the Atlantic a little bit, with extremely good radar. So just hold the line. Wow, we got a beat-up tank division here. Nice! 30,000 more men added, and they're all going away. Okay. Neil Ritchie has been hit. Um, cool. Well, we're obviously trying to do our best. Uh, we should be able to expand this direction down here. Should be able to come down here too. Should be, but you know. Should be able to do a lot of things. We should, as Americans, be able to land more people on the moon or increase, you know, space flights. Oh my god! 28 divisions up there? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have a minor retreat on the eastern front front eventually oh my god Spain is just really they don't like us here and that's okay we don't really like them anyways but Jesus air defense radar eh whatever it really doesn't matter yeah we're losing this front that's not good this is actually kind of surprising uh sure communist China will have a non-aggression pact a million losses the Spanish have lost quite a few though we are losing on this front a little bit not gonna lie Ain't even gonna lie about it. But the Spanish, though, they are gonna lose... Hopefully a lot of manpower. A lot of equipment, a lot of manpower. Just constantly attacking us like this. I need more allies. I really do. Um, but... The Germans have definitely pushed in, and they almost took Leningrad. That's really... Questionable. Um, yeah, I don't like you here. Can we get rid of these guys? Ooh, better field hospitals. Very cool. Logistic companies, yes please, yes sir. Still mobilizing, still mobilizing. Good, good, good. How many divisions are over here? I don't like these guys here, guys. Please take them out. Let's make the front line a little smaller. That would be great. Oh, we have an open hole there. Cool. Very good. Italy. Oh, Modern Blitzkrieg. Cool. So more breakthrough, more organization. Probably will have to go with Desperate Defense eventually. Get better engineer co engineering companies. Or better engineers, I guess. Just because we're digging in right now. We are completely digging in. Oh, baby. Because these guys are just battered all to hell. My goodness. That's why I love, put the tanks on this side, because I know we wouldn't be able to really do very much. The, the Italians, I mean, my god. Italy, what are you doing? Oh, and we are way over time, but they're almost out of manpower. Again, even though they are on all adult serve. Wow, this is going to be one hell of a bloody war. But with that in mind, we must end our progress here today. So with that in mind, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I did not expect the... Oh, actually, I did expect pretty much the Spanish to join the Axis, but not at that current time. So we have... Serious manpower issues. The Soviets are once again again being backed by the crazy Germans. I don't know how they did it. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's good. But, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we hopefully continue to drain the axis of its resources. Thanks for watching.